so this noisy guy is a uh, spark, well, basically a spark gap generator. Uh, what I got here is a clock. Um, if I just remove this, pull it down, speed it up, it's analog, so it's real noisy. Got a capacitor, inductor, this is a single pull double throw switch. It's being used to control this double pull double throw switch which is being used as an inverter to switch the DC to AC. So I'm just taking the DC uh, voltage and switching the polarity back and forth. And that's being fed into a series of three um, three transformers that are in series. So I'm just feeding the alternating current through here. Now on the other side of the transformer, these are about a 1 to 10. So they usually take about 12 volts each and go to 120 volts. On the other side, what I'm doing is I have them separated by a spark gap over here. And it's a little hard to see. Oh, let me get up. It's a little hard to see. Right now, it's about a millimeter distance. But I'm going to spread it out to about as far as what I've tested it. Oh, the other stuff I have before I do that. I have a fan just to kind of keep things cool. So far, I don't really feel much heat coming off these guys. This is a 20-volt uh, variable supply, and this is a 40-volt variable supply. Oops. i got to go with digital. This guy knocks itself loose, or, or I need to solder up a board. So... That's something I need to do also. Well, going to the digital will be a lot quieter. Which will be nice. I'm gonna put these guys almost parallel, but you know, slightly pointed in, so the, uh, the tips will be close to each other. Um, I don't know, maybe about five millimeters. I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure. I need to build a better spark gap um, in order to have a more accurate measurement of distance. Uh, the copper mesh you see in front of you is a Faraday cage. I have that grounded to earth so I don't have to worry about accidentally getting electrocuted. And there we go. I'm just going to leave it here for a minute, and you can watch the show. It's a bit harder to work through the air at that distance. Uh, if you noticed in the beginning of the video, I was able to get it very consistently. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing is either, well, I'm not 100% sure what I'll do, uh, make it a bit more consistent at this distance. But for my purposes, I don't really need to have a very large distance. Also, I, uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to go for a bit more nominal distance. So, about two, three millimeters. And like I said, oh, uh, this cage is a bit temperamental. There you go. Spark cat generator.